Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought that we could plan my outfits of the week. As you may know, we are still in lockdown here in Sydney, so I'm really trying to push myself to make sure that I am not wearing loungewear every single day. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with that if that's what you choose to do. I really love getting dressed up in the morning. I think it helps to motivate me for the week ahead, for the day ahead. And it's also just fun to play around with your clothes. And my motto for 2021 or and 2020 as well has been wear the clothes. I've really stopped saving things for best. Now today's video is in partnership with Lalaras, which I'm so excited to share with you. I have talked about them in a previous video, but Lalaras is the most beautiful, high quality silk sleepwear brand and I've got some new pajamas which I'm going to try on and share with you. I thought it would be very fitting considering that we are in lockdown and these are the kind of pajamas that I really wouldn't be mad about staying in all day long. Um, so I'm going to show you some try-ons but I've actually got two new pajama sets here. I've also got some of the silk scrunchies and the sleep masks. So the silk that La Laris uses for each of their pajama sets is mulberry silk and this is the highest quality silk that you can get. It's also grade 6A so what this means is that the strands and the fibers in the silk are really really strong and that when they are unraveling the silk it can be unraveled to a really long length without breaking at all uh, and that's really something that I think you want to look for when it comes to high quality and you know me I think it's really important to sort of look out for quality over quantity. Each of the pieces feels incredibly luxurious. They are so soft and they have this really nice sheen to them. They have that very, uh, I would say, traditional silky texture that you would sort of expect. It is just so nice to run your hands over the fabric and it wears incredibly well too. One of the things I really like about the La La Russ silk pajamas is that they are machine washable. So all you need to do is throw them in a delicate cycle and then they come out looking like new, which I think is really nice. Um, one of the other things I forgot to mention about Mulberry Silk is that when it is grade 6A and it is the quality that they are using here, it also means that it is going to take on color really well and you're going to have that really beautiful rich saturation of color. One of the other things to note with Silk is that it is a natural fiber, it is highly breathable and it is the kind of fabric that actually absorbs moisture so it is going to keep you cool in the summertime and then it is going to keep you warm in the wintertime. So a really good year-round option if you're looking for a nice pajama set and you really only want to splurge on one set as opposed to getting multiple different ones. Mulberry Silk actually contains a natural protein called sericin which means that it is hypoallergenic so really good if you were someone who does have allergies in particular allergies to mold or dust because the silk is mold resistant so that's not something that you're going to have to worry about at all. The other thing about the silk that La La Russe uses is that it is standard 100 OE tech I hope that's the right way to say it. What this means is that it is free from any harmful chemicals or substances, which I think when you are sleeping in an item and you've got a fabric so close to your skin, you really wanna make sure that it is natural as possible. And I absolutely adore that. So I'm gonna perhaps pop these on. Oh, actually, I wanna show you the little scrunchies. Hang on. So I got so excited by the pajamas here for a moment. Um, so I also have these beautiful hair scrunchies and I really like silk scrunchies because they don't leave any kinks in your hair. So they're a lot gentler on your hair than perhaps using something that is made from an elastic would be. And you can see they come in these really beautiful uh, muted colors. So very much in line with my color scheme, which I like. And you can get the thinner bands or else you can get the thicker ones if you really wanna make a statement with your hair. Uh, and great to either wear for bed or during the day too. And then as mentioned, I also have these really lovely little silk sleep masks, which I really cannot be without. I tend to fall asleep before my husband does. And so I like to try and keep as much light out as possible and be sleeping in a really dark room and wearing one of these really mimics that. And it just kind of fits over the face really nicely. Silk is also a lovely fabric to have against your skin. It can be really good if you are someone who does suffer from uh, acne, but 
absolutely love these so let me put on the pajamas so you can have a little look at what they are like on okay so I've just popped on the ivory set which I have and this is the style which has the buttons all the way up to the collar and you can see the fabric just has such a beautiful luster to it a really nice sheen which is what you will get with a silk charm mousse and as mentioned they wash really well this is my navy set which I've been wearing on repeat since I added these into my closet and I love them. The uh, little silk pipe detailing also makes them feel extra luxurious and special. Um, the waistband on them is an elasticated waistband. This is the black pair. I will show you cutaways of both the white and the black pair though and close up so you can see but it makes them really nice and comfortable. Um, I find they sit for me just around my belly button but it's not super tight or anything like that and I wear them in the size small. Um, now I do have a discount code for Lila Russ if you would like to look at adding a really beautiful pair of silk pajamas to your wardrobe for the season ahead. The code is Mademoiselle 10. I'm going to pop it up on the screen and I'm also going to have all of the information in the description box below and I have a link to where you can go and check out the full range on their website below as well. Um, but yeah they are just they're so nice and I think that it's really nice to have that beautiful pair of pajamas to sleep in at night. For me it is also akin to when you have fresh sheets on the bed. Love the combination together. Anyway, I think actually I might just leave these on for now. Why not? Um, while I run through the uh, outfits that I'm going to be wearing this week. And the way that I decided to do it this week was to sort of identify some key pieces that I really wanted to wear and that I wanted to get into rotation. I have planned out the outfits but not the shoes. So I'm going to show you a couple of different options and then when I show you the outfit on I will have chosen the shoe and I'll explain why. Now obviously the first thing I did when I was mapping these out was to check the weather and I'm going to put the forecast on screen here so you can see what type of weather we've got ahead. Essentially it is sunny and overcast and it's pretty mild winter weather. Um, you'll, you'll be able to tell how fortunate that I am living in a city like Sydney where it is perfect perpetually sunny. So today, Monday, I wanted to go for something that was really comfortable and easy but I still felt chic and elevated. So for my top I have gone with this knitted cardigan which I think I tend to wear every single week. I absolutely adore this. It's 100% cotton, it feels really comfortable against my skin and looks great worn both buttoned up or loose. I tend to wear it buttoned up though just because I love wearing it as a jumper as opposed to as an open cardigan. Underneath it I'm going to throw on this little grey camisole just in case I want to wear it open or I decide it gets too hot and I want to take it off. Layering for me is always key. Then the star of this outfit is really the trousers and this was the thing that I really wanted to wear today. These leather pants. You probably saw in my last video that I bought a faux leather pair. These are the ones that I have and that I already owned which are the true hero for me. They're the ones that I absolutely love and I feel amazing every single time I put them on. They have a really nice straight fit through the leg which I really like um, and it's a bit different for me. I've found uh, definitely in the last sort of eight months or so I've been exploring that straighter silhouette through the leg uh, and getting slightly wider and a bit more relaxed and I really like it. It's fun uh, and I think that's one of the things that is really enjoyable about fashion is being able to experiment and also just see your personal style evolve. The shoes, I actually just thought I'd wear the same shoes that I wore the last time I wore those leather pants and they're just these little sling back pumps with the Jadior uh, bow strap along the heel. I'm not going to bother picking a bag because I don't think I'm going to leave the house. Um, I really am avoiding leaving the house even to go for walks. I did a workout on the weekend and that's sort of been the uh, extent of my physical activity at the moment. So I think it's better to just stay at home and be safe. So that's going to be outfit number one. So here we have outfit one and what I will be wearing today. I really love the way that this outfit works. So you've got the slightly lighter uh, color up the top and then on my lower half it's anchored with darker colors which creates a really nice column. Um, these trousers as mentioned I really enjoy and hopefully if you saw my, my uh, previous video where I was sharing the uh, vegan leather option which I will link down below um, you can kind of see uh, the difference. I'll come up close so you can get a better look at everything. So 
Here is my cotton knit cardigan, which I have that little tank linked underneath. Oh, and I do have the same jewelry on throughout. Little pearl earrings and then just a basic necklace. And then just panning down to those trousers there. And then how they cut off just above the ankle, uh, exposing a bit of skin. And then you have the sling back flat. Okay, so my second outfit, I wanted to center all around this woolen blazer, which I have really been enjoying. So this is kind of going to be the hero piece of the outfit. And this is going to be what I wear for Tuesday. Again, these are all sorts of outfits that I feel like I will be relatively comfortable and at home. And maybe if I need to make the odd tweak, I'm not gonna to be too mad about it. So that's gonna be the jacket. Then I just wanted to pair a simple little tank underneath. And I find this jacket, I mean, I actually really love tonal looks. You probably don't need to be a genius to know that if you watch any of my videos. I'm always wearing tonal looks, so. That's what this outfit is. I've gone for this little tank, which I really love because it's got this cutaway detail here, which I think is really fun. Different when it comes to all of my other um, tops that I have. Then I decided to go for a white slim straight leg jean. These ones don't have any give to them, so they're really nice step fabric. And the way that I wear them is I actually roll them a little bit at the hem. I find that that just creates a little bit more of an interesting shape. And I like the way that it makes the jean taper in at the ankle. I find that really flattering. I'm a little bit at a loss for shoes. So I'm either going to wear the pointed toe cap pumps, these brown loafers, or these little white canvas sneakers. Okay, so here we have outfit number two, which features that really beautiful oatmeal wool blazer and you can see I decided to go for the loafers. I've really been trying to make an effort to wear these shoes more and I really like the way they pair with lighter outfits. So let me come in up close so you can get a better look at that blazer on. Um, it has this really cool tassel detail at the back which I think is really interesting and fabric has this herringbone detail to it which I think you can really only see when you look at it up close along with a bit of a speckled element to the fabric too. Um, I have just tucked in the tank and actually I kind of like the fact that I could wear this with the jacket worn buttoned up if I really wanted to. Sorry the lighting's a bit crazy in here. Go, Hopefully you can see a little bit better. Um, or I could wear it loose. Um, I could even perhaps belt the blazer too. Um, because of those tassels, I can actually cinch it more if I really want. But overall, I really like the way that's turned out. And you can see what I've done here with the jeans, how I do like to do that little wee cuff at the ankle. It just exposes a little bit more skin and I think it is a bit more flattering given my legs tend to be a bit shorter. And I have mentioned this before, but I do like to wear blazers that do hit below my hip because I find it helps to balance out my proportions a bit better as I am widest uh, at the hip area. Outfit number three for the week. I wanted to sort of wear this bodysuit, which I have, which is a really nice kind of a warm, caramel, sienna, cinnamon sort of a color. Uh, I really love this because it is seamless um, and it is really comfortable and it is one of the few bodysuits which actually fits my torso. A lot of the time they're too short on me. So I wanna wear that tucked in to these blue jeans here, which I've had for a number of years. They're a really great wash um, and actually currently on sale, they have raw edged hem too, which I think is a nice fun little detail. I'd sort of intended on wearing this more as a layering piece and then if it got warm I can take the knit off and I already have a really nice little tank underneath. And then for shoes, I was thinking I would probably wear these very sweet little ballerina pumps. Okay, so this is the Wednesday outfit and it's crazy. Putting this on it actually reminds me of something that I would have worn a few years ago just because of the way I've styled it with these jeans. So I am wearing that striped knitted cashmere top and underneath I am wearing the bodysuit in case it gets a bit warm. Then I have those jeans on and I've just done a loose French tuck so the back is sort of hanging out slightly and then on my feet I have those little ballerina flats. It's such a nice easy outfit, something that I feel really comfortable in, I feel very me. 
and yeah, that is Wednesday. My next outfit, it's gonna be the sunniest day of the week. And so I have essentially decided I'm gonna wear a t-shirt and trousers and hope for the best. If I need a jacket, I will wear it. So t-shirt that I'm gonna wear is this one here. It's black and it has a really nice loose fit to wear, which I love. That one, you definitely need to size down because it is an oversized fit. And then I wanted to pair it with these trousers, which again have that really nice straight leg silhouette. Um, I've been wearing these a lot and I just think they're such a fab buy. <laughs> very, very comfortable. And I got mine tailored so that they're slightly cropped above my ankle, which I think is really flattering. Um, I do want to belt them at the waist, so I'm gonna wear this one here with the gold buckle, as I really love the way that gold tones look against my complexion. Because I wanted to go for a monochrome look, I'm either gonna wear these black little ballet flats or these ones here with the low heel. Um, they've just got slightly different toes, so I wanna see which one looks a bit more flattering with the outfit. So Thursday's look, which is where we're gonna have the slightly sunnier weather. And I thought I would just show you how much a shoe can change an outfit. So on the left, I've got the rounded toe ballet flat. And then on the right, I've got that slightly more pointed toe ballet flat, which has the low block heel. Of the two, I have to say, I personally prefer how the one on the right is looking just because I feel as though it creates a nicer shape. Uh, it also just slightly changes my stance too by adding that bit of extra height. So I'm gonna slip on the other one and then let's just quickly run through all of the elements of the outfit. Yeah, overall, I absolutely love this outfit and 100% something that I would wear even in slightly different iterations with slightly different t-shirts, different trousers, I think this is always something that works and will look good. So you have that loose, boxy, oversized tee tucked into the straight leg pan. Then you have this belt here at the waist which helps to cinch things in, create a bit of shape because I do have these two looser proportions on and then you also have that slim shape down at my ankles too because I have this more dainty delicate shoe on. Then for Friday I wanted to wear a skirt. You can see there's a lot of jeans and trousers and I've actually stepped away a lot from wearing skirts but I do enjoy them and I recently purchased this one here which is lovely cotton poplin and I find that cotton poplin is a fabric that can work year round um, and I really love the shape of it. It has these cute little side slits too. So I figured I would wear that and then over the top I would wear my chunky roll neck and I'm not 100% sure on how I'm going to style it. I might partially tuck it in, I might wear it loose, I might tuck it in the whole way but I thought I would just pull out a tan leather belt to perhaps pair with it if I needed. So that's a maybe option in terms of styling. And then on my feet, I thought I'd either play it up and go with a chunky flat combat style boot. I really like the juxtaposition of wearing something that's very feminine and girly with something like this. Alternatively, I would perhaps wear my two-tone pumps, which would feel a little bit more ladylike and elegant. So we'll see which one I like more when I am trying on these outfits. And then if I do leave the house for any reason, the jacket that I think I will probably wear all week would be uh, this trench here. It is a really nice weight um, and I'm finding, especially if I leave the house in the middle of the day, when it is sunny, I don't need anything too heavy. So a transitional jacket is generally pretty good for me. And then we have the final look of the week, which I actually think might be one of my favorites. And you can see I decided to go with a chunky boot because I love the juxtaposition of having this very feminine skirt with something that is a little bit more masculine and chunky. So uh, I've worn that uh, turtleneck, roll neck sweater. Um, I've tucked my hair in, which I think when you've got a lot going on around your neckline, you sort of want to balance that out with your hair, whether it's pulling it back in a bun or tucking it into the net. Then what I've done is I've actually tucked in my net partially on the side here and I did decide to wear that belt. The reason being that I wanted to get the skirt to sit slightly higher up on my waist so that I would have a decent amount of skin between uh, the hem of my skirt and my boot just because I feel like that's a little bit more flattering. So yeah I've worn the belt um, like that and then just tucked it on the side which has created this really nice asymmetrical draped effect and then of course just worn those boots on my feet and yeah 
really really love this outfit definitely one that I'm going to be reaching for again <laughs> wrapping up this video in the actual outfit that I'm going to wear today I hope that you enjoyed this video I would love to know what your favorite outfit was for me I really think that moving forward especially if we're going to be in lockdown planning my outfits for the week is going to be the way to go it's going to help me feel inspired create fresh outfits and also I think it's going to stop me getting out of this rut of just putting on clothes, opening up my wardrobe and putting on whatever I find uh, when I open those doors. Anyway, huge thank you to Lala Russ for sponsoring this video. As I mentioned, I really love their sleepwear. It is just so luxurious to wear and I kind of feel a little bit fancy when I have it on. Anyway, I'm going to have that discount code and a link to go and check out everything that I featured down in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video and you would like to see more from me, then I would love if you could subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button if you did enjoy it. Anyway, that's it from me today. I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.